Hello everyone, this is Wonyeon Park. In this video, we are talking about the stiffness of um, the flexure. Okay, I have here uh, a flexure, which is two plain, uh, parallel plane plate, uh, which is connected two blocks in between. So let's go, uh, let's look at the simulation. So here, this is my static simulation. The material property is um, the 6061 aluminum alloy. And my uh, boundary condition is just fixed at the bottom. Okay, here, bottom. Now, uh, my force, first of all, I applied one Newton along this axis, x axis, okay, x axis at this edge, which means I push. Uh, with one Newton force along this axis. Okay, let's see what happens. So run it and we can see this results, right? So uh, in order to look at the, the right displacement, I have to looking at X direction of displacement here. You can change the option in uh, the, the displacement results. Okay, so my maximum direction is 1.1 10 to the minus 2 millimeter. So now I can calculate the stiffness with this formulation. So load equals to spring constant times to displacement. So spring constant stiffness equals to load divided by displacement, right? So we have load. I applied 1 Newton and displacement is uh, 1.11 10 to the minus 2 millimeters. So with these two numbers, values, you can calculate the spring constant stiffness or compliance. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, let's do uh, Z direction. Okay, so unsuppressed and suppressed X direction. Now I have Z direction unity Newton. So this is a little bit uh, the tricky because we we're gonna see some local effects. So I applied one Newton. Um, let's go back model and click study again. So I applied two two location at this edge and that edge. Okay, click two edges and then um, uh, change the option is total. Okay, total one Newton at two edges. Okay. And then um, the rest of them is our same. Okay, run it. So we can see this results. As you know, we have to see the Z direction displacement. Okay, now this is Z direction, but um, we have a little local effects. So I would like to see uh, this edge only. Click this one, okay, and update. And here is option. Click plot. So now we, you, you can see the local effect by the, the, the one Newtons at the edge. So, but I'm here, this is what I want. You can see the four, uh, 8.42 times uh, 10 to the minus a millimeter, which is the, about na eight uh, nanometer, okay? So now we have eight nanometer and one Newton, you can calculate compliance or stiffness, okay? So, um, next movie, next video, uh, I, I'm gonna cover the, how to calculate the moment and the rotational uh, stiffness, okay?